Hi, this is Sierra, and this is Reading Arsenal. I'm sorry if I've been away for so long, but today I'm going to be making an attempt at a TBR for a readathon that I'm participating in this week. This week being May 21st to 28th. This readathon is called the Nonfiction Readathon, and it was created by a group of book lovers on Goodreads led by Kate File. I'll leave a link for the group, for the Summer Readathon group, down in the description along with Kate File's channel. If you would like to join this group, uh, feel free to click the link and suggest readathons that we can do all summer. My TBR is probably not going to be as ambitious as the one for Diversathon, considering how well that went. However, there are three books I'm going to be sharing with you today. Three books is about how much at most I read in the month, so if I get to read three books by the end of the week, I could really um, up my reading goals, so that'd be pretty cool. So it is kind of ambitious in a sense. In no particular order, here are the books that I'm going to be reading for the nonfiction readathon. First up is Introducing Feminism, a Graphic Guide by Kathia Gininati and Judy Grove. This is one of a collection of novels on various topics like feminism, ethics, logic, and Buddhism, and among others. This guide surveys the major developments that have affected women's lives from 17th century to the present day. Um, it also shows how feminism affected the world for women and men. The graphics in this book look like this. Um, they're kind of drawn in this sketchy style, as you can see. I'll show you another one. And the and this book, uh, talks about a lot of events and figures in history that shaped modern fem feminism. I chose this book for the readathon because it's really tiny, um, in both in size and in length, and I feel like I, um, I know almost nothing about the history of feminism as a whole. Um, also, if I do find something interesting that intrigues me while reading this book, I can look it up further online or through another nonfiction book, so this could be a really good start. Um, if anyone has read this or uh, has any suggested uh, reads for me on feminism, that'd be really cool and awesome for you to let me know down in the comments below. The next book that I'm going to be reading for this readathon is How to Ruin Everything, Essays by George Watsky. This is a collection of essays by one of my favorite musicians. I'm surprised I've been putting off actually uh, reading this collection since I only picked it up recently and I've basically been subscribed to his channel uh, since 2012, I think, and I have all his albums and I really enjoy his music. I don't know much about him other than his YouTube and his music and stuff like that. This one is also kind of tiny so it uh, I'll fly through it hopefully as well. And the last book that I plan on reading for the nonfiction readathon is I Am Malala. The Girl Who Stood Up for edu Education and Was Shot by the Taliban by Malala Yousafzai with Christina Lam. This is a autobiographical account of Malala's life um, and her fight for girls' education in Pakistan. Basically, um, for those of you who don't know who Malala is, um, I... I know a bit about her before going into this. I know she is a um, a young girl in who's from Pakistan. I'm not sure if she lives there currently. She had a blog or something that um, voiced 
I'm losing my light here. Uh, <laughs> she had a blog where she uh, voiced her activism for girls' education and helping out girls who um, needed education. And apparently the terrorist group, the Taliban, found out about her and um, tried to find her by name at her school and they ended up shooting her in the head and she was uh, she was transferred to a, a hospital, a western hospital in Europe I think and she's still alive today so and she continues her fight and she was also nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize which is really cool. I'm not sure if she won it or anything but the reason I want to read this book for this readathon is because um, I just find her story really inspiring. I also want to learn more about her since that's really all I know. Um, and also I find her, um, one of the lines that's in the inside flap that she has that she wrote, I think, um, that she wrote is, I, I just find it really um, beautiful. I come from a country that was created at midnight. When I almost died, it was just after midday. These are all the books that I'm going to be reading this nonfiction readathon. Let me know if you are participating in the comments below. Also, let me know what books you'll be reading. And if you can't participate, what is a really good nonfiction book that you'd recommend? Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! I'm wasted, my heart grows heavy